Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong, and welcome to the legendary, now legendary, back office show. I have here a lap, an LAP 24 hour timer. It's a mechanical heating timer, as it says quite clear, 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 clearly, here clearly on the box um, with override. It's the usual sort of mechanical timer that you've seen and enjoyed. This was sent to me by young Chinny Hill, who uh, said it developed a fault and it's got an issue so perfect fodder for me to open up and have a look now it is a mains thing and really if we were going to do a normal sort of teardown lab we would have hooked this up to a power source first and run it but i'm not going to do that today we're just going to jump straight in and see if we can see anything mechanical Ooh, found some forceps not sure if we're going to need those but what we are going to need and i can see from the back is a tri lobe or tri wing or whatever you want to describe it screwdriver let's hope that the super nintendo one works and it does and i say super nintendo but this one seems to work for most nintendo things and if you do have nintendo products get one because it's bloody useful there we go in fact, I think the Super Nintendo was slightly different. I think I had to make a Super Nintendo one out of a slot head uh, screwdriver that I modded, took a notch out of. So I've done those two screws, but there might be something behind the sticker. Interestingly enough, that's, uh, I, I've got it wrong. This is the box for his new one, I think, because this is a B&Q one. It doesn't even look like what's on the box. I just assumed it was missing a panel, but that's totally different. So it's just a normal uh, normal timer. I don't think it's got the old 24 hour thing. Hello. Right, so these are crazy. Look what's inside them. I've never actually had a look inside these things and they're so cute. They are amazingly cute. First of all, um, I think I can see what's wrong. So I'm gonna cover that looks like this micro switch has uh, melted out so if you see there in the zoomed in view definitely not looking too happy just turn it at an angle yeah I'm quite confident that's not supposed to be there like that and we can probably he says probably test this in fact look the button I was just gonna get my meter out but there's no need because the button doesn't even depress so one could replace the actual uh, micro switch if we had had a spare one which I'm pretty sure we don't so let's not worry about that but let's see what else you get you know what other goodness lies in these devices and you get this cool little motor look at that so when you turn that thing and you hear the noise I'm gonna hold this to the cat up here to the microphone that's the noise of that and it's it's got a one-way ratchet in it that I can can see there's a one-way ratchet and how does it bloody work so there's a coil here again we're gonna have to zoom in let's let's take this up close and personal here's a coil and it's clearly exciting a uh, magnetic field here and I think is that the stator you know I'm terrible on motors and magnets and things I think that's the stator mm, yes and that thing in the middle will sort of spin round and it might spin around at a zillion rpms and then that will eventually work around to turning this at an incredibly slow rate i mean even if i'm i'm cranking that i can't see any of the other cogs really spinning because there's like a million turns in it so let's see if we can trace the circuit though so we've got we'll use this panel here to tell us the neutral and live are here. So the live is coming through here to this foot of the micro switch, to this side of the motor, and then the neutral is going to this. So it's going out of this big old resistor, which is black, black, bran. You can work that out at home if you want to. And then the LED is coming off across to here. So the LED is coming on when this switch is on, because that's the normally open contact here. Oh. I apologise, I was all, all, all over the place here. How, oh, that's, I ruined it all. Um, but yeah, just quickly, you've got the neutral going to the resistor, to the coil that drives the motor, to the live here that's on the common of the micro switch, and then you've got another resistor to this LED that's on the normally open contact. So when this micro switch is closed by means of these little uh, sticky out things, which we'll have a look at in a moment, see how that works. 
um, the LED will come on and it'll be uh, just it's not rectified so it'll do that weird flickery the LED across the main sort of thing and look at that size of that resistor because it's dumping a lot of heat a lot of current just for that but you know old school designs so yeah one could repair it but I'm not going to because I'm not really uh, sure generally you want a uh, such a, a mains thing <laughs> safety critical device running in your house that you've repaired yourself so this bit goes on that side and there we've got this slidey switch so it's also broken so that slidey switch obviously does something with that bit of the relay I'm just going to spin this round to see what we see so in there's the hole you can see the little gear in there that the um, motor latches into there's something there's something I think kind of in here that must bite into those pins when they sort of come around so that's t yes if I put some of those pins down you can see there's a few cutaways around the edge here where the pins can interact with something that's going on here which is this thing so okay how's that working that's going on there yeah so that's hooked over there this top bit and then every now and then one of those pins you see it there moves along and that'll just hit this that'll push in turn it on bang 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 nice and simple when it works but obviously overloaded we do have a burn mark here quite a scorch mark but I don't think that's from these that's from those getting nice and hot so you can see they're getting nice hot but here you've got a pink one which is the micro switch itself discombobulating its buttocks um, I think I want to do something maybe a little bit more dangerous than usual and possibly hook this up to some mains. I don't think you'll be satisfied until I do, so that is what I'm about to do. Jump cut! It's running! Now I don't know if you can see that and I'm very, very ginger in that I don't want to touch any of that bloody stuff. Um, the little uh, black bobbin in there is actually spinning. It's spinning pretty pretty darn quickly but not as fast as you'd think actually it's uh, not that massively fast I'll just unplug it so I can touch all of this and I'm gonna very carefully turn this upside down try not to short anything because I think you'll be able to get a better view of what's going on so three two one there we go isn't that wonderful so this is pretty much you know when you think about what it's doing it's a, a clock mechanism that's going to take 24 hours to spin that output shaft so I think this is something I'm going to be you know keeping I'm going to desolder this and keep this item because that's definitely worth um, a little play with I think later on in fact I'm going to turn the soldering iron on let's do let's let's do this thing let's do it right now um, don't have a look at how I've actually hooked up the power I've used uh, mm, a non uh, non standard technique uh, I wouldn't advise that at home but needs must I used to have a, a quick connect quick test like you'll have seen on Big Clive's channel um, and I thought oh yeah I'll get myself one of them and then last time I went to have a look it was proper expensive they were whoa whoa I just touched what did I just touch hang on yeah that's hot damn that's hot I mean that's seriously bloody hot um, let's have a quick look at what's going on here one moment we'll just desolder this bad boy oh, there is a mechanical connection between these resistors as well as a solder one um, that is hot uh, and that's because that big old resistor is clearly being used to sink a bunch of current now I'm kind of curious to I'm curious it's because you can work out probably what's the uh, voltage of this unit maybe you know it needs that uh, resistor in there because it's being dropped down but also it needs an AC so it could it could be something quite low we're saying that's it looks like black black brown and uh, a gold um, so 
by a combination of knowing the resistor and the power you can work it all out. I'm not going to do that because frankly I'm not very good at it. And I need to sit down with a pen and paper. But let's read out the module number. This is a ZL 2005-2010-2887.1 and it's also got another part number which is ZL 2005-3 Zero triple one four eight five point three, um, and I'm wondering if this is yeah just some sort of generic timer sort of clock module, and uh, I think I have to be careful if I do mount this up on something with the mains thing. I'm going to probably put a heatsink on that and make sure it's you know can get some air. That's why these things obviously look have that scorch in there because it's so hot. But yeah, it's kind of neat though, isn't it, to have a, a thing that just does a 24-hour um, rotation off the mains. I, I'm not darn sure yet what I want to do with this, but I know I want to do something. So those of you playing along at home, please feel free to comment down below on Patreon on uh, my now new Reddit page, uh, www. No, forget that. Reddit.com front slash. I want to go r front slash back office show something like that you'll find it if you want to um, yeah and just let me know kind of some ideas for this I, I like the idea of some sort of installation piece with an arm moving around and it's it should have quite reasonable talk because um, every now and then this does have to click against that micro switch so they do feel quite talky when you you know when you're turning those by hand um, and I'll give it a go but yeah too good to waste that is definitely going to go on the shelf of curiosity for sure and uh, I'm not going to open that up because that looks like the world's most horrible puzzle you'll get in a sort of Christmas cracker as ever thanks for watching <laughs>